Fools. What? April Fools. <laughs> Bongo, are you recording? <laughs> Bongo, you didn't tell me that we were doing this this week. I sent you a Google invite last week. So what are we even reading today? Can we practice before we do this? Ah, oh, we don't need to practice. You just need to fix your hair. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashley, and I'm the Artistic Director for Players on High at the Carlisle Regional Performing Arts Center. And my name is Bongo. And this is... Storytelling, Storytelling with Bongo. Bongo! That's me! <laughs> Today we are going to read a classic frog and toad story by Arnold Lobel called Spring. Hey, can I help read this week? Sure. Uh, why don't you read Frog? Okay. And I'll read Toad? Yeah, because you're the grumpy one. <laughs> okay. Ready when you are. I'll lay it here and we can read it together. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house. He knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad, Toad, shouted Frog. Wake up, it's spring. Blah, said a voice from inside the house. Toad, Toad, cried Frog. The sun is shining, the snow is melting. Wake up. I am not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you, called Frog. Go away, said the voice from a corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled all the covers over his head. Frog tossed, pushed Toad out of bed. He pushed him out of the house and onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April, like today's April. And it means we can bring a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows, run through the woods, and swim in the river. In the evening, we will sit right here on this front porch and count the stars. You can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I am going back to bed. Toad went into the house, he got into the bed, and he pulled the covers over his head again. But Toad, cried Frog, you will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad, how long have I been asleep? You have been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad, a little more sleep will not hurt me. Come back again and wake me up about half past May. Good night, Frog. But Toad, said Frog, I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore off the November page, and he tore off the December page, and the January page, the February page, and the March page. He came to the April page. Frog tore off the April page, too. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad, Toad, wake up. It is May now. What, said Toad? Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on top. Why, it is May, said Toad, as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to, to see, see how, how the world was looking in the spring. spring. Thank you for joining us for episode two of Storytelling with Bongo. My name is Ashley. And my name is Bongo. And we'll see you next week. See you then. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>